A person ought to visit the home of his or her favorite writer because you need to hear the same silences that person heard. And so I came today in search of the silences that O'Connor heard. My name is Margaret Witt and I drove down from the Hickory Nut Gorge of Western North Carolina just to spend a few minutes on the property and to watch a little bit of the dig. So the archaeological dig um, is really exciting because it's going, um, the, it, the main part of it is happening where the nail house once stood. The nail house was originally a storage shed, a garage of sorts, but it eventually became uh, Flannery O'Connor's uh, aviary of sorts. Um, and so the, the interesting thing that the dig is showing is that we're seeing where the original floorboards are, we're finding um, Oddly enough, lots of nails. We it's called the nail house. <laughs> uh, lots of nails, lots of fishing weights, things like that. So it'll just—it's really helping us dig up some artifacts that were lost when the original structure was torn down. We are doing some preliminary archaeology here at the O'Connor House, and we started with some shovel tests, um, spaced at 10-meter intervals, just to see where there's artifact concentrations, uh, where there are not artifacts, because that's informative too, and. We put a one by one meter test unit on, in the footprint of the nail house to kind of get some information about the nail house and see how deep the soil is, see what kind of artifacts come out. Of course, we do the primary document research. We do the photographic research if it exists, but also doing this really ground survey and really trying to see what reveals itself in the secret digs is an important part of the process. Um, completing all these processes, we're hoping to have a full restoration done within the next five to seven years of the, of the property.